One of the new options for FeatureCam 2011 is the ability to recognize sharp edges in order to chamfer or deburr them. In the case of this part, what you'll notice is we've already started the simulation and you can see we've created some z-axis features and because it's a terminal part you'll also notice we've actually got some b-axis features on here as well. So if I stop the simulation you can see in the case of this part what we want to do is we want to actually deburr all of these sharp edges. So how would we go about this? Well initially we'll notice that the model itself does not contain any chamfered edges on it. So in order to machine these inside FeatureCam, originally we would have had to extract all of these edge curves and generate chamfer features. Or alternatively, we could go into each one of the features individually and generate a chamfer based on the strategy that we're using. However, with this new option, we can now actually create the chamfered edges or deburr the part uh, with, the, with ease. So I'm going to select New Feature Wizard got terminal selected and I'm going to go with a chamfer but extract with feature recognition. Choose next. Orientation, we're going to be along the Z setup axis. Choose next again. And you can see FeatureCam has identified all of those sharp edges. It can see from this Z axis orientation. I'm going to create a deburr edge of 0.25 mm and I'm going to add all the new features into a group uh, in this case because we have more than one. I'm going to select all of those but because these I can't reach from this particular orientation I'm just going to click on them to deselect. Once I'm happy choose finish and you'll see FeatureCam generates a group with six features in it. So we have six chamfered edges and each one has chosen a 5mm ball nose. So with that tool I can go in and choose to play the simulation in 3D. Let me get each one of those edges deburred. What you'll notice is in areas where the tool or the side of the tool reaches this edge, you'll notice that it doesn't come any closer to this sidewall, so it prevents any kind of collision, just simply deburs the edge that it can reach up to without colliding with the sidewall of the feature. So we can repeat this process based on the B axis orientation. So I'm going to stop the simulation. I'm going to choose terminal operation, again a chamfer, extract with feature recognition, but this time I'm going to index uh, around and I'm going to choose a surface to be normal to, which is in this case this top face here. Choose next. In the case of here you can see it's identified a number of features, so all I want to do is I want to pick the features that I want. So these here, although they lie in the uh, XY plane, they're not accessible. So I'm going to choose just these three across the top edge. Again, adding those into a group and creating 0.25 millimeter deburring. So finish, and you'll see we have three extra chamfers generated in another group. Choose OK. Just highlight in the part view, you can now see we've got group 1 with the first 6, group 2 with the next 3. So again, let's rerun with another simulation, just to verify. So there's my deburring occurring around the part, and those top edges there. It's a very quick and simple use of feature recognition to find sharp edges.